I think people have two sides to them in, in their core at work. One side's a, a technical ability, whatever their expertise is, um, how well they deliver that. Is that. The other piece of it is the behavior. How do they interact with their coworkers, the, the people that they serve? And um, that's just as important as their technical ability. So if I'm nurturing that and allowing people to develop that within the work environment, they're a much stronger, much more complete employee. Uh, they're going to enjoy their work. I'm not going to have people calling in sick or, or uh, not wanting to complete that task so that we can get the work done. That all results in completing work for our clients um, that makes our company healthier, a healthier business. The mission has to have a means. and, and and this cycle self self feeding. In other words, um, the ability to grow a, a, a business um, where you get to bring that entire person, where you have a, a mission to what you do and a spiritual side to what you do, makes you more successful. But you, the business has to also be successful for you to continue to do that kind of work. So it's a, a perpetual uh, self feeding cycle that we see. The company is both mission and business, and, and I would say the mission leads the business for us. We have uh, um, made a, a, de a decision in this company years ago that this is our way of serving our God as we bring this to work each day. Um, we have uh, work that we do in the mission field. We have work that we do for the clients in the United States. But if we approach it as, as carrying ourselves with character, compassion, with, with integrity, you know, a lot of other virtues that, that are there, um, we're also trying to represent um, our faith and spirituality in that. Um, we want people to look at the way we carry ourselves, the work that we do, and notice that there's something just a little different about that, and it attracts people to us. It helps us to grow our business.